Kevin Kemani, present. Kwanjiro Wawero, J. V. Awiti. Morning, Your Honor. Your Honor, for the <coughs> suspect, on the record, Paul Muite, Senior Kanzo Kalonzo Musioka, who is brief, I hope. The owner will recollect he was here. The Honorable Mother Karua, Senior Counsel. Dr. John Hamino. Mr. Gad Awoda. Leo Sol Cosiemo, Oviso Oviso, as president. Doctor Ekuru Okot, Honorable Eugene Wamaroa. Henry Karauka, Bashir, <coughs> you know, for the defense, I can confirm that each of the individuals whose names are given for the defense, each of them is an advocate for the high court holding the practicing certificate. It is in that capacity that we appear. Your Honor, the defense has an application to make before the plea is taken. And that application, Your Honor, is that we apply for the taking of the plea to be postponed. To give us an opportunity to challenge in the high court the bringing of these charges for the reason that even as the accused or the suspect was being arrested, there were valid court orders issued by the High Court of Kenya, directing the suspect not to be arrested. We wish to raise the issue of contempt of court. Before the court that gave those orders. is unacceptable for anyone, and in particular for the police, to ignore and act in violation of court orders. Confidence in the administration of justice 
is unkind, unrespect, and obedience of God. So we have solid basis for challenging the bringing of these charges you know it is our submission that this honorable court in order to promote respect for the administration of justice will indeed accord an opportunity where the issue of content of court orders is raised for the accused, for the proposed accused, to make that challenge before the High Court. You know, let me clarify. There were two sets of orders issued by the High Court. First, there were orders issued that the accused should not be arrested. And the arresting of the accused was contempt violation of those court orders. Separately, you know, that is a copy of the court order. <coughs> Separately, Your Honor, there were orders issued by the High Court. For the return of the guns confiscated from Jimmy Wajiri, all of which were licensed, he had a valid <coughs> certificate to hold the guns. And the orders of the High Court were for the return of those guns, which were returned, but also they, for, were, they were returned, they were returned to Jimmy White in accordance with the court orders. But the further court order was for a reinstatement of the certificate to hold those firearms. All those copies of the court orders are there, Your Honor. So the guns we are returned. The further court orders were for reinstatement of the firearm certificate. Firearms as specified, set up in the order of the court. So, you know, perhaps in an attempt to get round the court orders not to arrest Jimmy Wanjigi, we learned that despite the clear provisions of Article. 47 of the Constitution, fair administrative action, despite the court order that say 
return the firearm certificate. Can you give me one ticket? The police <coughs> decided without any notice of any kind. Can you give me one ticket? to cancel the firearm certificate in order to charge you with being in possession of guns without a certificate. Now, Your Honor, as this honorable court is aware, before any adverse action is taken against anyone, the police were under an obligation under Article 47 of the Constitution to give a notice to the holder of that firearm certificate. That is what Article 47 is all about. That is what fair administrative action is all about. In order for him to be heard in his defense, So we have these cogent basis and reasons for challenging the attempted charges. And Your Honor, before I hand over to my colleagues here, let me just say <coughs> it is not just Article 47. Because the Constitution is read as a whole and it strengthens the submissions we are making that Article 47 is to be read with Article 10 of the Constitution that requires reasonableness, fairness, transparency by anyone taking any action. And of course, Article 2 that holds everyone subject to the Constitution and requires everyone to act in accordance with the Constitution. You know, we need to keep reminding ourselves of the transformative nature. We need to keep reminding ourselves of the transformative nature of the 2010 Constitution. It's not by accident. It was deliberate that Article 1 is about the sovereignty of the people of Kenya. That sovereignty is donated to the judiciary, to the executive, to parliament. But Paul Lewis the interest of the Kenyan people, of which Jimmy Wajigi is a member, to be respected. Even the human dignity, which has got its own standalone article. All these are to be read together with Article 47. Finally, Your Honor, with a lot of respect, the people of Kenya in the 2010 Constitution donated their sovereignty to the judiciary and charged the judiciary with the responsibility of ensuring <coughs> that everyone acts in accordance with the Constitution, respects the Constitution. That is what we are asking this noble court to do by asking that the plea taking be postponed for at least four weeks in order 
for the accused to go back to the high court to draw the attention of the high court that its orders have been violated by the police so that the police are acting in contempt of the court orders.